Hey everybody, it's Matt. I'm making another Heroclix video today. Um, so if you don't know what this is all about, this is the third video about the Heroclix rules update of 2021 that WizKids is doing for Heroclix. Uh, the first two videos should already be up. Um, go check those out. Start with Rule Zero, Intro and Goals. Then go to Rules Article 1, The Indomitable Knot. And now we're at Rules Article 2, Hitting the Bench. Um, WizKids is making big changes to Hero Clicks going forward. So definitely go back and watch those videos first to stay up to keep up the track with what's going on. Um, this is the this is uh, yesterday's article. I'm making this video on Thursday, so this is Wednesday's article. There could be a Thursday article posted, most likely. Uh, I'll be making a video on that too, but we'll, I'll do that later. Anyways, this one's called. HeroClix 2021 Rules Article 2 Hitting the Bench The standard powers in HeroClix are part of what makes it feasible to fit so much gameplay information onto the combat dial. However, 48 standard powers is a lot of powers. Even though you added pink powers a while back. Okay. When you can now you're realizing that 48 powers is too many powers. Okay. When you consider all of the in-game terms the player needs to understand to play hero clicks, it's a little over a hundred terms. Wah. We wanted to make this less daunting without eliminating abilities from the game. The result is starting with the DC Hero Clicks Wonder Woman 80th anniversary, there will be standard powers that aren't used on any figures in the set. They won't be on the dolls, they won't be in special powers. Internally, we, we refer to those powers as being on the bench. Take that in for a second. Take that in for a second, okay? Whiskets coming out and go, The game's too complicated, y'all. So we're going to take a good chunk of these powers and just throw them out of the game for like a few months. It's bonkers. That's what it is. While this isn't a change to the rules, it's a meaningful change to the design of hero clicks. I know I should get off that, uh, that, uh, my tone. That we know and peep players will notice. And it's part of the strategy we're implementing to make the game easier to onboard beginners. So we wanted to address this amongst the, amongst the rules update. Again, we're going back to... It's for new players! While forgetting that focusing hero clicks on the fun and strategic choices for veterans. You know what? There's a lot of strategic choices when you take a bunch of the powers and throw them away. Yeah! That's awesome. Why bench powers? I think they just summed it up. 48 powers is a lot. It's, yeah, it's, it's silly. One of our goals was to make sets and low rarity figures, more, most importantly, commons, easier for new players to digest. One way is by only giving them four different powers. No, I had led the next one. One of the ways that we did that was by making the total quantity of different powers across all the commons smaller. What that means is that when you pull a common piece, it's only going to have access to certain powers. So, like, you may never see a common piece with charge anymore. Or you may never see a common piece with indom with uh well you never will see another common piece with indomitable that's true you you may never see another common piece with invulnerability anymore why because that makes the figures easier to learn for new players for new players for new players what new players venues are closed people aren't playing in stores anymore the game isn't advertised anywhere. So what new players? All this is for new players. But what new players are there? Seriously. Do you see new players? Do you see new players? With the the venue, you can't, my venue, we haven't been able to play in my venue, my local venue, since March. So am I suddenly, like, teaching people how to play the game at the park? Or, like, 
Am I going to Target and setting up a table and sitting by the one box of Black Widow Gravity Feed and being like, I'll teach you how to play the game? Like, where are the new players? There are no new players. There's not going to be new players during a pandemic. <sighs> okay. Without putting a number on it, when a player opens a booster, they'll be getting fewer different abilities than they would have before. And they'll be paying $2 more. Profit. There we go. We figured it out. That's how whiz kids. That was step one. Make sculpts bigger. Step two. Remove half the powers. Step three. Charge more. Step four. Profit. Yes. Yes. We figured it out. <laughs> it's so dumb. Lordy. Fewer standard powers changes how figures feel different from each other. Do they? Wait, hold up, hold up. If there's less powers, how do figures feel more different from each other? Okay, okay. If there's three defensive powers, toughness and vulnerability and impervious, then that means these figures can have toughness these figures can have invulnerability, and these pieces can have in impervious. If you add in invincible, hey, there's four different levels of powers now. But if you take away half of them, and pieces can either have impervious or toughness, how do they feel more different from each other? I don't know. Right now, one of the ways the figures, especially lower rarity ones, this is like a war on low rarity figures, dude. This is a war on low rarity figures. You're going to open up a pack, and your commons are going to be the most basic, boring, low-pointed pieces you've ever seen in your life. And they're all going to have the same powers. Because WizKids feels that's what's best for new players. When this Superman is a 40-point Superman common that just has charge and toughness, and this Wonder Woman is a 40-point Wonder Woman common that just has charge and toughness, wow, that's easy for new players to learn. I don't understand this. Okay, right now, one of the ways that figures, especially low-rarity ones without many special powers, feel different from one another is that they have two or, th two or three standard powers on any given click that are different from sm similar figures. That inflates the complexity of common figures. Oh, Lord, way too complex for new players. It often inflates their point values, too. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, 50 points. That's way too much for a common piece. So starting with the Wonder Woman set, expect to see figures in similar roles that feel different because of their keywords, dial length, combat values, or combos with other figures. So, oh, this guy with charge and toughness, he has the soldier keyword, but this piece with charge and toughness, he has the scientist keyword. That is like totally different. Man, this game is so complex. It is so good. Wow! Existing standard powers get better. Oh yeah! Because when you take a big chunk of them and just throw them away, the ones that exist, they still exist. So they're better. Holy crap! I just put it together. By some standard powers getting... This is going to be such a joke of a video. I'm just realizing this. Because every single thing they post makes no sense. Every single sentence I'm reading makes no sense. So it's just like I'm instantly going right in the joke mode. Right in the joke mode. This is the silliest article I've ever read. read. By some standard powers getting printed on fewer figures, characters that have substitutional powers get better. When we say substitutional, we mean some powers fall into categories, blah, 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 blah. Specifically, what we're talking about is the most obvious when looking at the boosters. With multiple ways to boost your combat values, we frequently see players gravitate towards Perplex. It's almost always the best one. 
But they're saying if Perplex wasn't around, then perhaps Enhancement or Empower would shine more. So instead of making powers more balanced, they're just going to remove the overpowerful ones so the weaker ones shine more. So like Leap Climb and Pulse Wave. Leap Climb is horrible compared to Pulse Wave because Pulse Wave, you automatically break away. Leap Climb, you still have to roll for breakaway. And yes, even with a plus two, you can still fail on a one. So that's the two, like, they're, the, they're basically the same exact power. They're both move powers, but pieces with phasing are a lot better than pieces with Leap Climb. So you know what we're going to do? Instead of making Leap Climb better, instead of bringing Leap Climb in line and making it somewhat, de somewhat decent, we're just going to throw away Pulse Wave. Not Pulse Wave, uh, phasing. We're going to throw away phasing. Did I say Pulse Wave the whole time? You know, you know what? Impervious is so much better than toughness. But, but, instead of making toughness a little bit better, we're just going to throw away in, in, impervious. We're going to throw away impervious. Throw away any of the good powers. And that will make the, the bad powers seem better. Then we don't actually have to change anything. We don't have to change anything. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Okay, um... Hypersonic is better than running shot and charge. Fact? Yeah, that seems good. Let's just throw away hypersonic. Holy cow. I just figured it out. I just figured it out. Okay, okay. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Psychic Blast is better than Exploit Weakness because range attacks are better than close combat attacks. So let's just guess in here. Throw away Psychic Blast. Problem solved. Holy cow. I, th I think I foreshadowed what they're going to be doing. Um, which standard powers are benched? See the list below along with a brief rationale for why. They're not gone forever. But you might not see them for a little bit. Overall, we still like some stuff about these powers... But it's worth designing figures without them for a few months to make the game better overall. So they're getting rid. Of, so in, in the Wonder Woman 80th anniversary set will not have any of these powers in any shape and form. Leap climb. Of course, it's horrible. Super strength. So there's not going to be a Wonder Woman with super strength? I think, isn't there Superman and Batman in the set too? So there's not going to be a Superman with super strength? Isn't the gods in this set like Ares and all that kind of stuff? They're not going to have super strength? So wait, wait. Willpower. We already talked about willpower and push damage. Earthbound neutralize. Yeah, that was a horrible power. But let's not take the time to redesign it. Let's just throw it away for now. Let's just let's just throw it away for now. Not think about it for now. Precision strike. <laughs> Precision strike is similar to exploit weakness, but more complicated. So we're just gonna throw it away for now. Pulse wave. No pulse wave anymore. For the Wonder Woman set. No pulse wave. Okay. Okay. It's a range attack. Range attacks are too powerful, so no pulse wave. Battle Fury. Yeah, Ares. You're going to be able to represent Ares real well without Battle Fury. Good job. Range Combat Expert. Like, it, it's so much better than Close Combat Expert because one's a range attack, so we're just going to throw it away. I mean, that's literally what they say. Range attackers are inherently stronger than close attackers. So, uh, yeah, we're benching range. <laughs> this stuff writes itself. This stuff literally writes itself, dude. I mean, I'm I'm just joking. Dude. This is going to be a half as long as the other videos because this stuff is just a freaking joke. It's a freaking joke, people. 
Perplex is an all-star power. Plenty of great options already exist to use Perplex. By benching it, characters that boost their stats, especially damage, get to be more meaningful. What the hell does that even mean? So, you're not going to have Perplex anymore, but you'll have other pieces that can boost combat values in the same exact way as Perplex. And it's going to be good for the game. Shape change. And su shape change and super senses are similar enough. So let's just throw away shape change. It's a bit redundant if you think about it. You know what I'm talking about? The defensive powers. Here we go. They're getting rid of invincible. Why? Because if all there is is three defense powers, pieces will feel more different. Right? 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 So you're going to get a god or you're going to get a really strong Wonder Woman with no invincible. Good, good luck to your high point pieces in the set. They're just... They're just going to get exploited. I mean, see, here's the problem. Here's the problem, okay? Psychic Blast is going to be in the Fantastic Force, uh, the Future Foundation set. Psychic Blast is in the House of X set. But Invincible is not in the Wonder Woman set. So I wonder what's going to happen when the two sets hit each other. What's going to happen there? The Wonder Woman set is not going to have hypersonic speed. It's not going to have Invincible. It's not going to have Shape Change. It's not going to have Super Strength. But every set that came before, it's going to have those powers. So, the question is... The question is... What happens when Mr. House of X with, run with Running Shot Psychic Blast faces off against... Mrs. Wonder Woman set with just invent and just impervious. That's the big question there. I think you can solve that. Invincible is one of the three reducers that can reduce damage by two, and its ability to reduce penetrating damage creates an exception to an exception. There's too many exceptions. Ah, we're just gonna bench it for now. I don't know, dude. Like, a lot of these powers, Force Blast, uh, Battle Fury, Earthbound Neutralize, and Leap Climb, they should just adjust those, make them better, completely change them so they're different. But instead, they're like, we're going to take these 13, 14 powers and just bench them for three months. That'll make the game much more interesting. You're going to love it when you pull a Wonder Woman that doesn't have super strength. You're going to love it when you pull a flash that doesn't have hypersonic speed. You're going to love it when you pull a Superman that doesn't have Invincible. You're going to love it when you pull a nurse that can't use support. You're going to love it. It's just like... It goes back. This is where it goes back to. This right here. Hero Clicks is at its best when it is an about open-ended superhero combat and less about a perfect translation of comic page to tabletop. Stop thinking about Wonder Woman should have super strength because every instance of her is super strong. That's, that's applying too much comic page logic, people. Don't think about comic books in a comic book game. This is just an open-ended superhero game, dude. It's all a freaking joke, dude. Completely changing push and damage. And now just like taking a chunk of powers and just throwing them away for a set or two. It's just a joke. I've said it once. I'm going to say it again. 2021 should have been the year of celebrating the current player base. The, the people that are playing now. Not this new player group that may not friggin' exist. 2021 should have been the year of celebrating that we're making it through a pandemic. 
where people can't play in their local store, where people can't go to conventions and compete for con exclusives, where people are not having as much fun with the game, and yet they're supporting the game just as much as they did. It should be a year of celebrating and rewarding those players. Instead, WizKids is taking 2021 and saying, these people that supported our game during the pandemic do not matter. It's this other group of potential new players that matter more. And we're going to redesign our game so every element is easier for that non-existent player group that will never happen because we don't advertise the game and people don't get out of the house. And that's what makes me mad. WizKids was silent in 2020. They posted a few strategy articles. They didn't do a whole lot more than that. When people were wondering, what about con exclusives? What about organized play? What's going to happen with everything? They just said, hey, here's another set. Hey, here's another set. Hey, uh, here's another set. Take another set. Come on, take another set. You want another set, right? Here's some more pieces. Take some more pieces. What? What we're gonna play? No, I mean, uh, take some more pieces. Take some more pieces. Whiskits kept their head buried in the sand all year long, and in the 2021 did the same exact thing. They have not mentioned the House of X horrible distribution. They have not mentioned what more value are we getting for our two dollars more per booster. They've not mentioned all these things that are important to the player base. Instead, they're like, we're going to redesign the whole game again. Why? Because we want to. And the game's not going to be the same game you love to play. And it's not going to even be based off of comic books anymore. It's an open-ended superhero game now. Ugh. I'm just disappointed in this. Like, I can understand the willpower thing pushing damage to a certain extent. This whole power thing just seems like a lazy way to not have to design power, to not have to touch up powers, to not have to put in the work to make powers better. To adjust things. To do to do the maintenance that a, a game designer would normally have to do. Instead, they're just going to take these powers, throw them away, and not think about them for a while. It's lazy. It's just lazy. That's all I got to say about that, pretty much. So, I hope... Again, I, I'm, I'm going to probably end every one of the videos. I hope you can still find fun in Hero Clicks for you. There are still plenty of fun products coming out this year. Uh, you may not agree with the things WizKids is doing, but I hope you can still have fun playing it. Thank you so much for watching this video, for sticking through another 30 minute, well, this is only like 25 minute video. Thank you so much for watching this and follow, follow along with this series. Please take a second. If you want to voice your opinion, voice your opinion below. I want to hear how you feel. Unlike WizKids, I want to hear how you feel about these things. And uh, have fun. Be safe, people. Make sure you're wearing your mask and you're staying social existence because there are still people that can get sick out there. Thank you so much. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.